Good afternoon, good morning, you lovely lot. You know what I love when it comes to the beginning of each show, when we've got our opening titles, I love to see all the finished cards, the finished examples, the way that you can then use the product. It gives you a little indication as well as to what we're going to be featuring throughout, of course, the show. So you got a little bit of a taster there within that opening sequence there of all the different cards and projects that you can be making, just dotting about all over the place. A bit like Tetris on that one there a moment ago. So yes, we are here for a masterclass. Masterclass, and it's very much a, a beginner's guide, a learn to. There's going to be a lot of techniques all the way throughout the day. It is, of course, two hours when it comes to this masterclass. What I do have to say, though, very quickly just now, we're going to reference a brand new launch today, which, of course, was our Paper Corner Punches. Now, the Showstopper Collection, 40% has gone. What? 40% has gone, absolutely, Debbie. 40% has gone already of that show stopper collection. We don't have the official two hour launch till later on in the day. Usually you tend to see launch day within this show. However, this is Masterclass. Launch day is going to be at six o'clock here in the UK, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. We will have two hours to look at them. But just to say they are across on the website. You've got either just the punches on their own or you've got the show stopper collection where you've got the punches, part and paper your two lots of cardstock as well so all on shop the day crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu what you'll also find here is lots and lots of goodies from masterclass but do you know what i'm not the one that's going to be doing the demonstrating why because i'm on this side who is going to be doing the demonstrating all day today she was in earlier with wake up call with me we had a nice little catch-up powwow just outside when we were having our lunch and now we're back together again live for two hours debbie yeah cannot wait as well because we, this is a master a class about bringing it back to those basics in terms of learning how to do certain things um, using our products so we are going to be covering embossing we're going to be in cover uh, covering aqua pens we're going to be covering things like um, our flower forming our edibles um, our stamping we've got a lot to cram in in this next two hours and it is going to be um, how to use those kind of things it might be just a little bit of inspiration a little bit of mojo maybe something you've not tried before um, that you can then use this towards as well or maybe you're brand new maybe it's the first time you're flicking on mm -hmm. flicking through and you've caught us or perhaps you're you've come across from watching our lovely Sarah on QVC she was on Definitely. the other night you could be a new fan a new person that's just come out or somebody who's just literally caught a little glimpse through us on Facebook us. or YouTube um, and want to, to um, learn how to do these kind of things and use our fabulous products that we have here at Crafters Companion with some cheeky little deals thrown in, may Absolutely. I add? Absolutely. Um, so, yes, and there may be an odd appearance with the new launch that we'll come up with later mm. as well, uh, just because... They're just fabulous, and I can't, I can't, I, I honestly, I just want to use them, I want to use them in every demo now, mm -hmm. is what I want to do. Of course, we're not going to. Well, you can if you want. We can if we you want. You can if you want. Absolutely, we can if we want. Yeah, and you're in charge. You know what I'm like, that's exactly it, I'll, I might change your mind at some point. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get things kick-started, and we're going to learn all about aquas first off. 
we yes. are indeed Looking absolutely forward to it, Craig. funny as well you saying about uh, new now we think we've got a new viewer maggie monday is saying excited finally get to see a live show well this uh, if this is the very first time you are watching us it's so lovely to have your company it's so lovely that you are coming in a way just saying that you are excited to see this first show if you do have any questions if anyone's got any questions over the next couple of hours feel free to send them along we've got rachel on for the first half the first half of today before sue Susie takes over and bless you Rachel I don't think you were being uh, lazy when you just said hello to me there she's come in Rachel's just said hello as in hello to me to let me know that she's here to give me a hand and I've just put back hello too but it was just said sorry I was being lazy as I already knew that you knew it was me that was here I didn't take it as you were being lazy Rachel not at all never in a million years but Stephanie is in saying hello again we've got Rhonda Crowley creations is saying good morning Caroline Wilson is saying hello again from Florida Suzette Suze is saying hello everyone from PA we've got Sue uh, Zoe Carver is saying afternoon everyone afternoon to you Lillian is saying hello again well hello again to you it's lovely to see you popping up Penny Low hello hello is all uh, saying so Penny Low hello hello all my crafty buddies hello 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 there's lots of hellos hello, hello 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 Tamara is saying, good morning from South Dakota. Looking pretty snazzy, Craig, I like. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I especially kept this uh, new jacket just for being on with Debbie today. I've had it for a few days now, but I just waited until today. And then Charlotte Everett is in saying, afternoon, everyone here in Hern Bay. Well, hello to you. Wherever you're watching all across the globe, it's lovely to have your company. As I said a moment ago, any questions, any queries, send them across or fire them across to Debbie over the next couple of hours. You can get in a conversation with us along the bottom there. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk if you want to send a picture in. Maybe you've been making something from something that's just launched. Maybe you've just been playing with your Crafters Companion products and you want to then send in a picture. Then you can do studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. UK. We do have Jamie is in the hot seat for this show here. George is dotting about and we do have Nicola who is still steering that crafty ship for the full day today. But I will say as well, just before we have a look at this learn to colour in, we do have a Fiver Friday because it is Friday. So that means if you go across onto our website, so whether it is .co.uk, whether it is .com or whether it is .eu, you're going to find a selection of Crafters Companion products at five pound five dollars or five euros that you can then pop into your basket and check out it will end midnight your time because if it goes one minute after we're into saturday then that means it's not a fiver friday then it's a fiver saturday and it doesn't have the same ring plus we've got something else coming your way tomorrow to stay tuned with jan and corin but while you're also on the website as well we are now in national craft month all across the globe in the craft industry and that includes us now we've got a number of things planned all throughout the month here on crafters tv we're going to kick start with the first five days where you can get 10 percent off some spectrum noir tools now you can have a look across on the website and you'll see the banner of the 10 percent off spectrum noir tools and you can see if there's anything that takes your fancy maybe you're just wanting to try a few things maybe you want to stock up on a few things they are all there i am also going to give you a heads up as to the weekend Saturday and Sunday there is going to be a three for two on Spectrum Noir pens but that will then start tomorrow once Corin and Jan is in so just to keep that one in mind and then the other thing I want to tell you as well is our gift card because at the moment what you can do is you can buy a gift card for someone and then we will give you a fiver to spend on your account absolutely so what will happen is you'll be uh, sent an email and then you will expect that maybe within the next couple of days or so so just keep an eye out on that one but buy a gift card and then we will give you five pound five dollars or five euros to spend on whatever you like whatever you like is entirely up to yourself Rightio. So, as I say, we are having a look at our masterclass today. Many elements are all about that learning basis within this masterclass. The first one we're going to be having a look at is learning colouring with the aqua markers. Now, you're going to get your ink pad, rocker blocks, stamping dies. You're also going to get some watercolour card as well. So let's show you the actual aqua pens that you're getting within here because you can't learn to colour with aqua markers without aqua markers. Could you do that, Debbie? <laughs> Tell you what, Debbie, you're about to demo demonstrate this next. Try doing it without these. I know. 
might be a bit difficult. Bit it difficult. would be a bit difficult. It bit really difficult. would. So what you have got is your Aquamarker Floral. So this is the 12 that you're going to get. These are water-based, so you can start to draw out that colour. You can get a different blend all the way down. These alone are $22.99 or $29.95 on their own. However, everything I'm showing you is £35, $45, or a platinum price comes down to £28 or $36. So that was the price of that, as I was saying there a moment ago. What you are also going to get is your flagstone. Now, that is your waterproof ink pad. That is the perfect one to work in conjunction with anything that's water-based. Now, when it comes to your waterproof ink pad here, it does tell you waterproof, and you've got a water brush as well that you can see at the side. So straight away, it lets you know it's perfect for anything that is water-based. This flagstone is actually a personal favourite to many of us. I know it is Debbie Nicholas saying the same when she does a little bit of water colour in, and it is for me as well. It's still a strong outline, but it's maybe not as harsh as the Noir Black. It just reigns it in that little bit. That's included. What you're also going to get is this gorgeous floral stamp and die. Statement floral. Now, this one is from our Bell Countryside. Now, yes, as I always say when it comes to a stamp and die, use them both together, that's how they're intended, or use the stamp on the road if you want to. Use the die to create a fancy aperture. You've got that option, but I love the fonts within these ones here. Simply for you, with love, in Garden Gate. Why you would want to put Garden Gate on a random card, I don't know, but maybe you would do. I don't know. You do you, hon. But then what you're also going to get is your full pack of watercolour cardstock. So that is giving you your full 15 sheets, all of your watercolour cards. So perfect for doing any water technique that you can see here. And usually you're not even using, you know, even half of that. Sometimes it's even less than that at a time. So it could potentially last you quite a wee while. And then last but by no means least, we're even giving you your two pack of your rocker block. So all of these ones, everything that I'm showing you, your two pack of your Rocker Block, your 15 pack of your A4 watercolour card, your waterproof ink pad, and you are going to be getting your statement floral with that Garden Gate sentiment. With love to my Garden Gate, maybe. It's up to you, you could do. Sometime you just love your Garden Gate that much that you're going to send it a card. You've then got your 12 pack of aqua pens and you've got that brush nib at one side, you've got that fine nib at the other and these are the colours that you're getting. It is from the floral set. Incredible price. Look at that saving. You're saving £16.95 or $25.41. It actually works out that you're saving over 30% on that today's price. That is exceptional on its own in my opinion at £35 or $45 but if you are a platinum it comes down to under £30 at £28 or £30 six dollars as well so it's a win-win whether you're here in the uk you guys stateside or even for you guys across central europe head across to your website lots of lovely comments coming through but i think what we could do is let's go straight across to debbie because i know it's a master class it's all about learning and techniques so we can then kick start with debbie and then we can have a look and read some comments just shortly debbie absolutely and i do i'm honestly i'm, I'm going to try and do demos with everything that i'm going to show you throughout the show there's some really lovely coloring mediums that we do at spectrum Noir. These are the finest because they are water soluble. So you can see you've got a dual tipped applicator and we say a dual tipped because you've got um, two different nibs on either side of your brush that are indicated uh, on the barrel, nice shaped barrel as well. One barrel that certainly will not roll around on your craft mat because once it's down there, it's staying because of the ergonomical shape and it sits comfortably in the hand. So you've got this beautiful brush nib on one side and then the ultra fine and I say ultra fine ultra fine nib on the other side compared to that side now these are fully water soluble um, pens as well in terms of all these fabulous colors that Craig's just shown you you've got those 12 gorgeous colors but you've also got a little bit of a way you can mix your palette as well and you can add some depth and dimension to your colors by adding different shades in there you've got three shades of green three shades of blue I would say virgin yellow going into the brown and three shades of pink going into the red so you've got really nice selection of florals in there and I, I, of course saying the water soluble let me show you how water soluble they are you're going to take some water so I've got some water and I've also got a paintbrush now we do many things at crafters companion we do um, our water color brushes which are a brush 
at one end okay and you fill it up just by simply unscrewing there and filling that up with water so that's got all your water into there so that's now a waterable brush a waterable brush, waterable brush. A, wa a water brush that you can work with um royal and Lang langnickel brushes are the crafter's choice in my eyes because that's exactly what it says on there uh, come in various different sizes uh, and a great one to be able to do uh, your techniques yeah. with in terms of painting because yes these are water soluble yes you can paint with them yes you can create lots of lovely techniques and backgrounds which i'm going to show you in a in this demonstration as well um, but for me absolutely get the right tools including you may want to go and check out our clear crystal clear Maybe. overlay glitter sparkle pen which also acts as a little bit of a water brush because obviously there's your water content in there with that ultra fine glitter so it means that it's going to work beautifully with these as well so i'm just going to pop that to one side and then i'm oh. going to come in and show you now i always have to the hand up that side of me i always have a bit of tissue because i want a, what i call a damp brush not a wet through brush so not one that's saturated that's dripping you just want a nice bit of a damp brush ready and prepped ready and raring to go and i'm going to show you the differences of why you have it on to watercolor cardstock and why you can use your glass mats and your craft mats as your palettes okay. as well so i'm going to pop a little bit down onto there and then taking my damp brush move and watch that just literally and if i just go in Ooh, a little bit and i'm using a, i'm using a flat brush there to create that but that water soluble feature where you can go in from that direct color which was that color and then take your brush and literally now create that lovely water technique yeah. and you can do that as well with your uh, with this brush so we could go with this brush as well we could also take our crystal clear overlay pen and i know they're not in stock at the moment but they will be back soon so Definitely. please don't think that you know I'm, I'm just doing this but it's just to show you again how much you can create those lovely watercolor techniques and i say watercolor techniques but from a pen Mm -hmm. So it's not like your watercolours that you would normally traditionally, but it gives you all those effects yeah. of watercolour in this single pen. And like I said, Craig, not only can you do like your lovely colouring, and, and we are going to do that, but we're also going to explain why we've put this little package together for you as well, because I love this stamp. I absolutely adore this stamp. So and I know you can't see it on there, but it's on my rock. Oh, block. the one from the set. All right. Perfect. Yes, fine. Yep, it's absolutely fine. And why as well, we are bringing in the correct ink pad with the correct pen. Because this is water soluble, you're going to be using your water, you need the right cardstock and in terms of your cardstock, you've got this lovely textured cardstock that is a very uh, porous, so it soaks mm -hmm. up your water and enables you to move around very easily with your aqua markers or anything water based. So we have a lot of things at Crafters Companion, a lot of things in our Spectrum Noir, yeah. and this being one of them. You'll get the premium results on watercolour cardstock, which is why I've popped it into that bundle for you. And of course, with any stamp, when you're using to colour in with your aqua markers, you want the correct ink pad. And this is the waterproof dye ink pad. It is in flagstone and it is one of the lovely ones. I, I, I say that and on heart because black can be quite harsh. Uh -huh. Flagstone is like a dark grey, so it softens the image. And again, I'm just going to stamp up this and I'm going to show you again why, why we have the correct ink pad for the correct medium okay. at Crafters Companion. Because our finesse range, they do come in four colours. You can get black, you can get your flagstone, obviously you're getting it in this bundle. Uh, rustic brown and also, um, oh, 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 pebble. I was trying to think of it then, and it nearly left my mind then what it was. But again, just popping that on. Rocker Block technology as well is a, uh, it's got a curvature to it. So it's like literally, we call it a, a, where you rock it from your heel to toe. Yeah. So from starting this end and rocking it down onto your uh, page. And you've got two different sizes in this bundle. I'm just going to move this because I feel like everything's just squashed at the wrong side of that corner. Just, uh, yeah, let, let's take it there. Um, yeah, heel to toe, I always hold mine either end. I know this is the largest that you're getting. The other one is a slimline version, which is perfect for all your uh, sentiments that you're getting in that stamp set as well. But literally, you take your two fingers, you pop that in the middle, grab hold of it, and you start by rocking it simply onto your um, platform. And it's, that pr it's, it's as easy as that. It literally is. One so rock, straightforward. and it just instantly on there. And like I've said, the reason we've popped, and again, I'm just going to show you, because why do you use a finesse waterproof ink pad? The reason you use one is because when you do use anything with water, you are going to be guaranteed non-smear, yeah. 
whenever you use. So that is now stamped onto there. Very easily you saw me do that with a rocker block, but nothing is moving, nothing is smearing. So I know with confidence, I'm gonna be able to color with these and I know for a fact, it's not going to interfere with that stamp design. Now, talking of that stamp design, I'm gonna move this to one side just because that was a tad extreme, but I like to show it because there's a reason why we do that and why we have that. Now the um, stamped image, Again, really lovely to be able to create these things. I've used the die that's in the set. So it's not that I fussy cutted it out, I've actually had the die to be able to cut that out and run that through your machine. Okay. Now, we've talked about colours, um, and you've seen me just go directly onto your cardstock, but the one you'll find most that we do here is we use our glass mats as a little palette to create uh, colour and create a little palette to pick up with your brush. Now I'm going to switch to my little water brush here and where you can then pick this up and start to colour. And you'll see that you get quite a lot of coverage and quite, when I say quite a lot, I genuinely mean quite a lot. It's a big um, coverage. Oh, honestly. And of course you can give a little mix so you can colour up and add some more into there as well. Now it's a really, the reason why we do all these deals and why we put all these fabulous products that work together is so that you get those optimum results every single time you use our fabulous uh, pens. And you've got to have the right tools, haven't you, Craig? You've got to. Yeah. You've got to. Because otherwise, if I'd have used the, and I don't know if you caught it, myself and Craig did it a couple of weeks ago. In fact, we did it a week ago. We did a Colour Me Happy show and it was based purely on aquas. So this one is like a, a mixture of um, different things that we're gonna learn and teach you. But I have a two hour show there where I used aqua pens throughout the show and showed you lots of different techniques that you can do with it. So once you've got this bundle and once you've learned how to do that little bit, and I mean, really to be fair, Craig, I'm not doing much. It's Just the pen, it it's the pen, it's the inks, it's the it's the aqua pens that are doing all the hard work yeah. for me. I'm just picking up, literally. Just and again, as long as you remember not to take your brush directly into there, that's wet now, so I don't want to put that in there. I want to continue to use this, but because I added water into there, again, I'm not taking that into that um, place of ink because uh, that's when you can get a little bit of interference with your brush, and we don't want that. No. That's a beautiful nib there. But again, you can start to see how you can really start to build up some colour um, and create some really nice little things. So again, I'm going to just bring in a, another bit. Of, let's bring in a couple of those greens, like so. Oh. Let's go in with that one. And then again, just picking this up. And I'm just going to, because if whenever you're using a brush, just give it until it goes clear uh -huh. and then you're ready to go with the next colour. So you're not interfering with any colour, but you can see just how fabulous and how easy it is. And what may I say, a minuscule amount of ink well, from your is. pen yeah, to yeah, be able to create. Is. You're not taking, I mean, that was a tiny little scribble, but look how much coverage I'm getting with it. It's honestly just absolutely fabulous and you can continue and i'll tell you something else craig you can't half color quick when you coverage, yeah when coverage. you're using these fabulous pens you are going to get through um some really love and it, I, I, I genuinely mean it it's a very forgiving um medium to use in terms of coloring because it's water-based because it's water soluble and reacts with your water to give and create these lovely uh, techniques that you can do and coloring absolutely love them um, calling me happy you were talking about debbie it was just last friday was it yeah with myself and you yeah Seems was it a week ago, ago? It? yeah wow and it was is it the, the same, same trio? trio in the gallery yeah really that is uncanny yeah how uncanny is that but again you can start to see how and I, again i've used a little bit of color onto there to pick up with my paintbrush and I mean, honestly, Craig, when I say you get a, a, a little goes a long way. You can see how much A little getting. goes a long, long way. It really, really does. And the speed in which you can do it as well. I think a lot of people, including myself, used to be scared of watercolour because they think, oh, I can't achieve those sorts of looks. I can't do things like that. Oh, yes, you can. Right tools, 
right things from watercolour cardstock that works perfectly with the aquas, the right ink pad, the flagstone waterproof ink pad from our finesse range is the right one to stamp with when you're using these kind of things. Uh, you've got your rocker block to create that stamp. We've even thrown a stamped image in there for you to get yourself started with that you can honestly use to your heart's content, um, including sentiments. But you can see just how fast I created that. And it, it honestly, so and I've not, I'm not finished yet, Craig, really not finished yet, because I've got to show you, pop that to one side, what you can do with your spare bits that are still on here. So I've all that to one side. Let me bring in my, uh, I've got a square piece. Oh, it's not going to be square in a minute. Um, again, you can just pop a little bit down if you want, a bit of extra ink. Um, but take your water brush. So this is when you come in with the water. This is when you want a wet water brush, not a, a dry water brush. Although Debbie says that. What have you done with your thin one, Debbie? I know I broke one. I did break it in half this morning. Yes, producer Nicola. I broke one of my brushes um, in the car boot. Don't even ask how. But do you I know what I've done yesterday? What did you do? No one, no one told you? No. No one told you? No, so what did you do? During, during my uh, craft along, um, I was shown a, a way to, if you need to cut like three quarter of an inch, George knows where I'm going with this. Instead of cutting just a quarter of an inch and trying to get it under that finger guard, I was showing them a way how you could make it easier. And what I'd done very, very quickly, very, very easily, I actually lifted the finger guard up, popped it out, so it made it a little bit easier. And then so many people were like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we've got, thank you, Brent. I've got a little bit of a runny nose, thank you, Brent. Um, I cannot believe you just lifted that finger guard up. Can you show us? And I was like, yeah, good. you have to be careful. But yeah, I'll show you in case it gets a bit sticky or gunky or something like that. Went to lift it up. Snap. What? In all the years, Debbie, that you I've done You snapped the guillotine? That. Yeah. Yeah. How is that possible? Well, while we see you just doing that, I'm going to come across behind you. You won't see me, but I'm going to show Debbie the guillotine because you guys are... Oh, oh well, I'll just explain what I'm doing do then, do Craig, that? because I've just got a little bit of ink onto here. I'm wetting my brush and I'm just tapping over my watercolour cardstock with my uh, pen. Now, again, if you need to add a little bit more, just drop a little bit onto your, onto your craft mat, pick it up, bit of water and splash and you can create some really lovely oh my god i've never seen that happen in my lifetime oh <gasps> wow craig you heavy under devil i know you were i know you were going in for to smack down uh, wrestling but goodness me that poor little thing came off worse didn't it mm -hmm. wow I, i've done that for years and i i've had tonic studios guillotines i've done that with i've had past guillotines with them that i've done that with our guillotines never at one time we're going to do it live on air just to show you <laughs> snap <laughs> mm -hmm. craig what are you like literally now look at that lovely background let that dry so we've beautiful. got this lovely little splash technique which is where i'm going to be able to pop on my little image but i'm just going to bring this in for a second because i was debating with this craig because you can stamp with aqua markers as well which i did cover a little technique um you're going to take your uh, pen and i'm just going to show you before i put my card together um, just use the side part of it and go over the top you can of course mix your colors onto here as well but you can absolutely go in and uh, create a nice little bit of a, a, a technique to, in terms of, let's go in with that green. I'll pop the green on. In fact, no, I'll go in with that. No, I'll go in with that green. I'm just going to pop that over the leaves because I realised I put purple on well, there. Well, that colouring you just done, you know, Carl Wilson on Facebook saying, I can't believe you did all of those leaves, Debbie, with just that minimal scribble of Oh, ink. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly what you can do uh, with these. Now, I've inked up, and I'm just going to bring in that spare piece of cardstock uh, just to show you. It's it's the, the colours on the stamp, and we just need to give it a little bit of moisture so you can either... <sighs> oh, God, I've kissed it. <laughs> Oh, inky lips. <laughs> More like lippy, lippy all over this thing. <laughs> I, went, I went to go like this. <sighs> I got too close and ended up kissing it on my bottom lip. Um, <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> there we go. There we We're go. okay to go. <laughs> Give it a little huff. Huffy, huffy. And then a little rock onto there. And you can create... Cool. I mean, that's lovely to be able to stamp. And then, of course, you can take your things like your pens. I'm going to use my clear overlay. Oh, no, not that one, you're not, because it's got a, di <laughs> a different colour on, Debbie. We'll come in with the brush. And you can use it to, to rag out colour 
Did I say rag? You did. I meant drag. You could have got away with that. Though. I know I did. You Do you know what you're thinking? What that? did I just say then? I'm pretty sure I just said rag. Uh, but yes, you can draw out the colour. So you could colour with these as well. I mean, this makes a really pretty easy, quick colour technique, to be honest, Craig. Mm -hmm. It really, really does. Um, and again, even though, and I will just show you in a second... You can then choose to do that a few times, uh, take your clear overlay pen and drag out that colour too so you can come in and give it a little quick move around between. I mean, look how much colour that's pulling out. And it even. really does, but it's still got that lovely image over there as well. So that's another lovely way you can do that. Uh, this is one I did last night because I was debating whether to have this as my background piece. But I just wanted to show you, even though it's been, I did it last night, you can still come in, come in with your brush and you can still... So even though it's been dried, last, I did this last night in my craft room, you can still move that around. So not necessarily straight away, you know, you have to do that technique straight away, but you can come in and you can still see now, I can still manoeuvre and manipulate that around uh, my background. However, I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do was bring in now, so I'm just going to move these to one side, okay. because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring in the ones that I've done. Make sure you're nice and clean, Debbie. I've got myself a card base. I've cut myself my little mat and layer and I've cut myself, uh, and this was my background splash dried off. I've just added the with love and I've popped these onto some foam pads. However, however. Oh, I know where she's going with this Well, one. yeah, because I was tempted. Do I do it with the, do, yes, I'll do it with the rounded one first. Let's come in with the rounded one. I am obsessed, Craig. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm obsessed? Uh, yeah. You're I'm obsessed. obsessed. Um, I am now obsessed with our corner punches to soften those lovely edges. So now that's giving me that lovely curled feature. Could do it with this one. However, <laughs> mm. let's have a look. Come on, we're going with this one. You're obsessed, aren't you? Look, Craig's obsessed. I'm even, so I'm even I'm cutting the corners. I'm coming in and cards. I'm going to now start creating with officially our launch tonight. But I did say they may make a sneaky appearance in here. And I know that I'm not the only one of the craft experts that has become totally obsessed with, because I don't know if you can hear, over the other side of the core, uh, uh, other side of the counter, is Al Craig. Just take a look at him. Totally obsessed. We are beyond obsessed well, are, don't we? with these. But I honestly, you're going to do this, you, you know, your journaling pages, your scrapbook pages, um, you are going to be using it in absolutely every, every aspect of your crafting when you've got these fabulous punches. And again, although it's not the official launch, look how I've altered that card. Literally, just by adding these corner pieces on, I'm then going to bring in my little piece that I've just done. And I've got some foam pads onto the back. And then I'm going to come in, Craig, with my lovely inky background, a lovely little piece, and apart from... Do you know what? I'm not. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it because I think sometimes keeping it back to basics, we can strip them back to basics as well, but you can create so much with that gorgeous set. It's a fabulous set. Look at the price on the screen, especially that platinum price, exactly. Craig. It's amazing. Learn about your colouring, learn about your aquas. I've shown you two quick, simple techniques there. Oh, actually three, you want to talk about the stamping as well, because you can stamp with that image as well, if you wish to do so. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. They're water soluble. You can use all your waste little bits by doing your little splishy splash techniques. And of course, those decorative punches oh where have you been all my life because I adore them they are absolutely fabulous talk about a game changer I don't know how I'm going to get him back into the studio because I've got to reset but I can see someone over there decorating to his heart's content um, I'm going to have the most fanciest uh, info cards ever but that, <laughs> that, that, that are and that are really are fun. easy aren't they a they lot really of fun. really are yeah. You know, and you did show Debbie what I would say is always go back to wake up call and see what Debbie done earlier on because you don't necessarily have to use them for the corners. Debbie showed you how you could do punches when it comes to your projects. But what Debbie was predominantly focusing on there was the learn colouring with the aqua markers. That gorgeous, gorgeous card as well when it comes to what, of course, then you can make. If you are just going to do the little splatters, which is one of my favourite techniques, and the one technique I've not done in a long time, and I'm so tempted to do it now, is just colour over the stamp, Debbie, huff, yep. 
and then transfer that through yeah. and pull and the colours. And don't colors. kiss it. If you don't want to kiss it or huff it, <coughs> spritz it. Spritz it with, do you know with a water spritzer, spritz it, just hold it back a little bit and spritz it so they're fine. There's still ink on there, so that's exactly what I would do. Yeah. Spritz it and then do exactly the same and you can still create that. If you don't want to do the huffing, in terms of kissing nearly mm -hmm. the stamp, um, it's just a quick, you're just adding a bit of moisture. The moisture from your breath uh, will go on to the hair yeah. and literally just activate the water mm. that sat on the top of that stamp because it's not drying onto it, it's sat on the top of it ready for you to do your stamping with as you saw, a very simple, easy technique to achieve really is, it really, really is so let's have a little quick look as to what you are going to be getting now you're going to be paying for your aqua pen so within these ones here you are going to be getting your floral and you're getting your 12 pens as well but they are water-based as Debbie was saying so you can start to pull and draw all that colour out or you can use a sparkle overlay if you so wish You've got your flagstone, that one there being your waterproof ink pad. Then what you've also got is that stamp that Debbie was using a moment ago. So you've got your statement floral and that's where the With Love came from as well. So a beautiful one to stamp in colour and cut. We've then got our white watercolour cardstock. So you've got 15 sheets within this one here. So you've seen the piece that Debbie used a moment ago. So, you know, depending on how much water-based techniques that you are doing, it will last you quite a few uh, goes. And then last but by no means least, you are going to be getting your two pack of your rocker blocks. That is included as well at £35 or $45. Your platinum price, however, comes down to £28 or $36 for all of that. Your learn colouring with your aqua markers. They're all on the website right now for you to get your hands on. We've got loads and loads of you watching this afternoon uh, here in the UK. We've got, uh, Carol is saying, uh, I read, oh, sorry, I, th I think I read your, oh no, never. We've got, now I'm, uh, forgive me from the Netherlands, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Al Altej? Altej? I'm probably completely wrong on that one, so I do apologise. But saying, hi everyone from Netherlands, Craig, loving your Scottish accent. Oh, thank you. It's like a, yeah, it's one of those uh, Scots accents that I do get complimented on because, as I say, you can understand what I'm saying, unlike some other parts of Scotland. We've then got Charlotte Everett on YouTube saying, me and Grace are going to sit down tonight and fill out our Spectrum Noir colour charts to see which pens we are missing. Got to make the most of the three for two. Absolutely, that's going to be starting tomorrow across on our website. We've then got Janice Sutton on YouTube saying, I absolutely love it when Debbie is on. Tomorrow is Jan, cannot wait. Couldn't ask for two better demonstrators to kickstart the weekend. Two of my favourites. Yes, couldn't agree with you. Thank you so much. That's lovely to it Isn't lovely. it lovely to hear stuff like that? It, it really is. It really, really is. So we Carver saying, see you've got a shiny new stamping mat now. Just can't uh, think... Just can't think why you, they Jimmy. replaced it. Got it. <laughs> can't see why they replaced it. I can because it was Mankit. It was Mankit. It really was. We've got <laughs> Garth Dobbs is saying on YouTube, oh, the colouring is pretty. Robin on YouTube is saying, I have painted with watercolours for years, but these aqua pens have taken my watercolour into the next level. FYI, that was a good final last night, wasn't it? Next level chef, Gordon Ramsay, ITV. The right person won. Uh, they are absolutely amazing, they are. We've got Laura, uh, Facebook is saying, Debbie, you're making this look so easy, you're inspiring me to give it a try. Oh, can I tell you, it really is, Craig. Yeah. It really, really is. And I know, and I know, because I'm speaking from experience, I thought I couldn't do the kind of things that I've been doing, what I've been showing you here and, and, and previous times as well. But it's having the right things. Uh, for me, it's the right tools, the right items. And honestly, if I can do it, anybody can. And I genuinely mean that because it is, it's easy to achieve the looks. Uh, looks? Easier to achieve the techniques um, when you have those correct products, which those absolutely are. And our Aka markers are the finest in the business, they really are. They definitely are, they really, really are. Crafty Angie is saying, the flower stamp is from what collection? So the one that is on your screen right now. On the screen right now, that's where the flower stamp has come from. Alison Soberman on Facebook saying, Craig, I am so sorry for asking you to show us how to remove the finger guard, but it was a 
oh my moment. Yes, it was. I was mortified, absolutely mortified. Any other crafty questions, anything that you want to ask, just get uh, on to social. And uh, we've got Susie, it'll be popping up soon for the remainder of the day, but at the moment we do still have Rachel, so ask away. Now we're going to have a look at something that we did feature earlier on with a uh, wake up call. And this one here is our Learn Flower Forming with Flower Forming Foam Stamens and more, £35 or $45. You're going to then be a platinum price of £28 or $36, where you're going to get all of these. Now, you are going to get a rose dye from Set With Flowers. We don't have the right one here. Debbie does, so I know we'll see it just shortly. So you are going to get the rose dye, plus you are going to be getting your foliage dye as well. Perfect for the flower form and foam. However, you can be using your cardstock if you so wish. That's included. You've then got four... 100 stamens, which more than likely you'll be folding in half, so therefore you don't actually need as much. For instance, if you think you need eight, then technically you only need four because you're going to fold them in half. What we've also then got is our set with flower, flower forming foam. 12 sheets here. You've got the peach, you've got the green, you've got the red, you've got the pur pink as well. Pur pink. Part pink as well. All of those, 9 by 12, are included. Same as your delightful daisies. You've got your 12 sheets of 9 by 12 flower form and foam. You've got white, you've got green, and you've got baby grey as well. And then last, but by no means least, you've also got your foliage flower form and foam. So you've got your two greens in here. So you've got your two greens that you can cut your flower dies into, or freehand cut if you want. Everything there, including the rose dye stick, die stamp set as well you're going to be getting for £35 or $45 if you are platinum however it's going to come down to £28 or $36 it's all on .co.uk.com or .eu so head across there make sure you check out your basket so you know that they're going to be winging their way to you very very soon Righty, oh Debbie, what are we having a look at next? We are going to go back to basics when it comes to. Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know we're on then. I thought you were still on there. Nope. Uh, back to basics when it comes to our flower foaming foam uh, and how to put them together as well because it is a lot easier than it looks. And as if you didn't catch us this morning on Wake Up Call, I will just tell you we all do things differently here. We're uh -huh. all different, you know, demonstrators, we're all different experts that bring something different and do different things and different techniques. This is my way of doing it um, but you I've got a ton of tutorials from um, from Craig from Jan from Michelle from Debbie from Corinne from Sarah from Lily from Leanne have I missed anybody I'm just now thinking in my head have I missed anybody um, honestly a ton of inspiration but I'm going to show you how to put one together because we have got a fabulous bundle here a fabulous bundle an amazing price for all of those gorgeous colors when it comes to our proprietary foam that's we've developed here i said we the royal we leanne and the team have developed at the best the best foam there is out there that when activated with eat just makes this technique so easy to do so i'm going to show you how easy it is to use now i've got the sate with flowers flower which is the delightful rose okay. i've taken one of the sate with flowers uh, 9 by 12 um, foam and I'm just folding it in I must say half I've actually done it half and half again okay. and we're going to put these on and run these through our die cutting machine now you can put these through your smaller machines your larger machines but for the purposes of this I'm just going to use my Gemini Junior plates and run that through now we're going to place that on top um, you can hold it down with some tape if you want to, if you don't want it to move. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, let me tilt that. I, sh I should be okay, Craig. I think it I'll be fine. It looks as though it is, yeah. isn't it? You what, love? It looks as though it's all okay. Yeah, it looks okay. It's just you know what the Gemini's like and it can move. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'm going to use my positioning, and I say my positioning shim, the shim that holds the dies into place, the magnet. So let's pop that on and then run that through the die cutting machine. And that will now cut through those four levels of foam using that die. Let's just push that through. There we go. Um, and then we'll put it together. So honestly, a lot easier. You're going to need a high, uh, an iron. So uh, any iron. We have, a, we have one in the studio that we've kind of de deducted that it is... Um, well, we think it's Adam's, don't we? We do. When, when Adam... We, th we think it's Adams. It's Although definitely Adams. Nicholas saying, it's not. It's got an A on it. it these are. 
Did you wear her Nicola throwing I some know, sass yeah. out there at our poor Adam? Um, I hope he's not tuning in. Um, she said that man never had an iron. He never, he never ironed. No, well, not many, not many men do, do they, Craig? Oops. Oops. I just saw the look he gave me then. Excuse Oops. me. Oops. I do iron. D do you iron? I do iron. Yes, I, I do. I don't. I bought a new iron I, off a of QVC. I... Thank you very much. Did you really? Yes. Well, um, I, I um, shall I tell you something? Yes. I don't. I have done years of ironing, Craig, being a slave to that ironing board that I now Jesus. buy material. Slave. <laughs> I buy, I I buy materials now that need zero ironing. I've got better things to do than my time than iron things. So all my dresses are ones that you can wash and then no, dry iron. and no iron. Yeah, the best way, the best way. Too many years, Craig. I've got a fair more, a fair more few years on my back than you have. Um, and um, you'll understand when I say four kids, three my own, one oh, me adopted, yeah. Yeah. four kids, uh, a lot of ironing over the years. Now, I've popped all my flowers out there in this kit. Correct me if I'm wrong, Craig, but you are getting bottles. You are indeed. Your sponge. You are indeed. You are getting your stamens, and I've got those to one side as well, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, I really do need this to be the front of the camera. If I may, please, Mr. Vision Mixer extraordinaire. Um, I am going to... Actually... Hello. Debbie, Debbie. Yeah, don't do you that. You haven't plugged it in. I mean, oh dear. Lord. Corinne, no, have your guts for garters. She hates me sticking my hand under the heat tool. Never mind stick. It's not even plugged in. Do you know? I have said this often before. I do worry about myself sometimes, Craig. Um, what have I plugged in? What have you plugged I've in? I've no idea. Hot glue gun, maybe. <gasps> maybe. Glue gun, yeah. I put that on. I remember, oh, I know, yes, glue gun. We need some more sticks. That's what I'm just going to see if Jake or John are listening. More glue sticks, please. Um, Us guys don't listen, apparently, so no. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this for a second to warm up. You can use any iron. So you can use craft irons, little miniature travel irons. I get often asked what we do. My personal one is my... Um, now I know what I plugged in. <laughs> The little iron. I plugged my little one in that I've now unplugged. Oh. Uh, this is my little one um, that I got from Sticks 2 many, many yeah. moons ago. And I know you've got one as uh, one indeed. as well, Craig, haven't you? However, in terms of getting good results, you want a hot setting. You want a non-steam iron, so it needs to be just a regular iron or off the steam setting. I dread to think what fancy pants Craig's is like if he's got it from QVC, because I bet it said all oh, singing, all dancing. Yeah, it is I knew it would be. Yeah. It's only because <laughs> when me and Debbie Fisher used to go to QVC, we used to have to iron all the tablecloths, and they had oh, this really fancy you. one. I was like, oh, I really like that, Debbie. Thank you. So Debbie. I did, I bought one a while back. <laughs> Did you see our lovely Jake then? He we're did. On, we're on his hand. He's in blue like me today. I know he is, yeah. He's brought me some more glue sticks. Thank you very much. Right, are you ready? So I have turned my iron to the side. Uh, it is now because this is the beauty of having a, a proper iron. Um, it doesn't take long to warm up. I'm going to take one of the ball tools because what I want you to remember it ball tools, not ball tools, Debbie. Ball tools. What I want you to remember is this is a hot surface. So you just give it a little knock and look straight away. It's rolled up into that little ball. So again, I'll do a couple. I think what I'll do is this time, Craig, I'll save a couple of those small ones. Okay. I'm not going to go as a bigger flower as I did this morning. And I, look at that straight away how they just form is unreal Absolutely. Absolutely unreal you're simply popping that on but I, as we always said just take caution when you're using anything with any heat mindful of not popping your fingers on that plate it is a very very warm plate you only need to let them touch onto there for a couple of minutes and create that lovely uh, bubble technique we're going to call okay. it a bubble technique uh, so I'll do a couple of that size I'm going to come in with this size now there we go and then pop in that one on you can see how it does it straight away. It's like, it's, it's like magic. Watching it absolutely transform before your very eyes, for me, is just fascinating. So I'm going to pop that on and that one on. You can actually do it a couple at a time if you want, but I'm just showing you. Just literally a couple of seconds onto that surface. Use your ball tool just to get that off, or, or a pokey tool. And it's just a simple case of letting the heat 
activate. I'm going to stop there because I've got enough, so I'm just going to pop that down there. Although, if you don't mind, Craig, I'm just going to unplug myself just for a couple of seconds because I am extremely clumsy when it comes to uh, irons. It is warm in here, Craig. I, honestly, so I feel warm. like the, uh, 100,000 degrees has just hit this room. And it's a big surface uh, area, room, this area. If you don't mind, guys, if we can open the doors, it that has, would be it great. Has. It, it feels like a little bit of a hot summer's day, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Um, now, Thank you, yeah, Leon. you're not taking it off me, Nicola. I've got it over there. She yeah. says, is there a fan in there? Yeah. Like, you're not yeah. taking that no, thing no, off No, no, Debbie can have the fan. If we can have these doors Pleasure. open, it'll Thank be absolutely you. It'll just, perfect. To, just to cool the room down, because it does get quite warm in here. Uh, right, so now that they have been activated with heat, they are now at a stage where you can distress, where you can add uh -huh. your um, anything that you want to add to it, to basically. But I'm going to mould them and shape them. So you've got six different size ball tools to work with. Okay. You've got your, um, you've got your lovely... And the reason we've done it nice and thick as well is in terms of when you are using these I'm going to just come in just for a second um, I don't really have to do much with this one to be fair Craig but just give it a little shape and a little push down you've got a nice big thick sponge to work with and you're just going to give that a little bit of a shape so that you can um, start to mold uh, into the shape that you want I think okay I'm just going to keep that one there as well because I quite like them nice closed up so put them so to one it's side it's kind of enhancing some of them isn't it because they're already yeah. kind of automatically form into into shape yeah there are I mean like I said this is the cupped version if you want to turn it over you absolutely can and you can come in and you can start to use your ball tools to create different styles uh, you know with your you know and it, and also because we're molding it it gives it gives this lovely shape when you use your ball tool so instead of now it being a cup I've now kind of given it this little flattened edge but it's mm -hmm. got like some areas what as I call it, it looked like a bit like a rose. Do you know where you've got the crinkling? It does. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you can. So there's a couple of ways that you can do uh, or shape these. Uh, I'm going to turn it over. I quite like that one. I think I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Let's change it up a little bit, Craig, because we can. That's the thing. It's about practice. It's about having that little bit of a play. And you can see now I've got a couple of... Well, different sizes on here. And we're going to come in and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it again. It's lovely. This is where it's just so satis it satisfying, is, isn't yeah. it? Just Do you to... find it quite therapeutic as oh, well? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I've heard a lot of people say mm -hmm. this, that they find this this stage really quite therapeutic in terms of shaping and moulding. Yeah. Um, and you can do that on both sides, so you get some really lovely effects. You can. We do have another tool that's on the website, uh, which is all about um, the, I call it the crinkle edge. The, cr the crinkle it's edge, the, yeah. It's the little toboggan shoe. Um, change your ball tools up as well so if you change your ball tools up you'll get different effects i think let me go into that one let's go in um ellen is asking debbie saying hi craig and debbie can you use a heat gun so right so i've had to do a heat gun before in the past craig because i thought to take my iron with me and it's this is a classic class example so the heat gun is slightly different in terms of a heat from an iron, which yeah. I know sounds bizarre, but no, it is. No. Yeah. And um, it will it tends to shrivel it a mm -hmm. little bit more. You can do that if you haven't got one, um, but you're not going to get the premium results no. or the optimum results because it tends to you're applying heat directly into the area mm -hmm. and it kind of shrivels it up it does it doesn't give you the same effect as an iron does if that no. makes sense yeah. Do you, have you tried that y yeah so i find with an iron what it does is when it automatically starts to shape itself with an iron okay it can be quick but what it does kind of encapsulates itself whereas a heat tool as debbie just says it just it's like it crinkles up and do you know what you can still use it of course, of course you can, can. But I would highly say, highly recommend, yeah, that perfect uh, result, the perfect way to use it is a heat iron. But as Debbie was saying, it doesn't have to be an expensive craft iron. It could be a travel iron. It could be a home iron. It doesn't need to be an expensive QVC or HSN iron or anything like that. You know, joking aside, it can literally be a bog standard inexpensive iron for you to do it on. So, yes, you can do a heat, t heat gun, but if you're wanting the results that you're going... I'm going, to, I'm going to say it this way. You're not going to get the same results that Debbie's getting right now if you use a heat... No. 
gun, no. you're going to get different results. So if you, you like what Debbie does, I would certainly recommend an iron of some sort. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and again, you can start to see, I've, I've created these different style of petals by, just by turning it over and shaping. And that's exactly what you're going to be able to do. So use that sponge, use your ball tools, uh, and really, it's like kneading. Uh, kneading? Is that the right word? Yeah, yes, yeah? yes you're um, right, yeah. But you're changing. So I've gone from this flat to this, like, cupped version to this stuff. This is the thing with this. This is the beauty of having the right tools again to create those different techniques um, and different styles of flat. And even though it's a rose yeah. petal, you will create some, I promise you, you will create some lovely stunning flowers with these. Now, you will get a little bit of static. I've got a bit of heat. It's very warm in here. We've just, you know, we've just mm -hmm. perfectly described. It's very warm in here. Um, so I've got a little bit of static coming off there, which is making it stick to my finger just slightly. It's not the end of the world. It's not altering anything. Uh, but now you can see I've got all my petals ready, Craig. So I'm just yeah. going to move those now. Pop that onto there. It's held that shape. Actually, I'm going to bring that back in because I'm going to use my... Um... <laughs> there you are. We might have got to the bottom of the iron as to whose it is. If you've seen Wake Up Call, it's got an A on it. Now, remember that Lillian, she's actually made a good guess right enough. It could be Adam Brooks because he covered for Becky a while back. Ah. Okay, oh no, oh, so, okay, sorry, no, I've been told, no, that iron's been here a lot longer. Okay, I'll just, no, I'll take it back. <laughs> Never thought of that. Never thought of that. So our producer, Nicholas, said it could be A for A Cliff when the nothing. store was here, so they could have had it in store. They could, could have been, we, could we've be. inherited it anyway. We have inherited it. Now, I've popped my two little uh, cupped ones up there, so it's like a closed bud in the centre. But then we're going to work with the rest of these flowers. Now, I'm going to move the ones that I haven't activated, and I'm going to work in size order. So I'm going to come in now, and I'm just going to literally stab and bring those up in themselves. So now you can start to see, just by turning it around, and this will be a completely different one to that I did this morning, but you can start to see how you can start making your flowers and your florals up. Yeah. You're gonna stab it in the center. This is the stage when you might see Corinne or Debbie do it slightly different to what I'm doing because they've gone and used um, glue in between these stages. Um, but I'm happy to just carry on using this because I'm gonna do a stamen in the center as well. I do but it your way as well, Debbie. Do it my yeah. way as well yeah but can you start to see now that forming and then literally just stabbing that in I'm going to bring it down again on itself because I'm going to alternate those petals so I'm just going to make where the space in between so yeah. I've got a really full flower starting to form and that's the beauty of these I honestly can't tell you how much I adore making flowers um, and different styles different as well, because this is a different one to what I made this morning. I don't know if you've noticed, just by shaping it, shaping it. and moulding it differently, it's completely different to the one we did earlier. But this is your... And, and again, you could use all the small petals together to create a small flower. You can use the medium-sized <laughs> ones. You've got four different ones on there, but already you can start to see how that is starting to form. And I'm just going to continue adding those elements. That flower you're creating right now, Debbie, now even even say a flower just like that, minus say two or three of those petals that you're doing. Yeah. Gorgeous little flower like that. Now how many, how much would you pay for a pack of ten of them already made in, a, in, oh, God, in yeah. the stores? Do you know what I mean? Whereas with the foam that you're getting, what you're doing, Debbie, as well, that you can make so so many compared to the price of 10 that you would get in a pack and like yeah. in the UK, Dunnell Mill and the range, and yeah. bargains, that sort of stuff. And I'm being slightly extreme here, Craig, because as always, the bigger the better for me. You know what I'm like. I like, I like bigger things, bigger projects, mm -hmm. uh, bigger flowers. Um, it's just the way I am. Um, but there's nothing to stop you from doing smaller ones. But can you see how that is That's starting epic. to work together? And you can still mould, you can still shape, and how you're creating really full... Shall I add one? I'll add... Yeah, I'll add the Do it, go two. for it. I might as well. Do it. I do might it. as well. Do it. Let's carry on our chant from yesterday. Do <laughs> it, do it, do it. <laughs> but you absolutely can do that. And, and that's the thing with this. You can make them as big and as bold as you want. I mean, if I just hold that up, 
Can you see that beautiful flower? Wow. And honestly, it's the, the, I adore making them. I know Corinne does, I know Debbie does, and I'm sure we all do. But you can see now how that works so beautifully together. In terms of your um, stamens, I will just repeat what I did this morning as well. You've got the stamens, so I might as well show you how I do mine. Three or four, it's entirely up to you uh, because I'm going to double those up. So it's going to, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll go in with the four. So we've got eight in there. So we've okay. got a nice big one because I've got a big a biggish one so i'm going to lay them just on there for a second i've got some little trim it wire this is um it's a beading wire um, and i'm just going to snip myself a little piece off there you'll find this ready available um on your jewelry sites and on your you know your flower sites uh, it's just the one that i tend to use and one that our lovely julia here recommended to me when i was looking for it one was actually i never got to it earlier on wake up call it was actually a question and i'm going to start off by saying it's always a hard one to describe because the question is what was the thickness of the wire that you use it's i always say it's one that can you can snip with normal scissors yep because some have Thicknesses, detail they on do. them, some don't. This, this one is a beading wire that's a 28 gauge or oh, gauge, perfect. I always say it, 22 metres on it. Um, so it's a, a 28 um, in terms of the size. So that's the, 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 the that's how thin that one is. So um, it's a nice one for your stamens and it's a nice one, especially when you twist. And I'm just twisting that around, excuse me, while I just pop that there, um, to be able to um, keep the stamens in place. Uh, it just gives me a little bit of a, an anchor to where I'm going to pop my... Um, um, stamens through once I've pulled that wire through uh, sorry this the, the um, <laughs> poke it all through poke it all. Poke it all, thank you Craig um, and again I'm just snipping that off and it does mean that you can use scissors and it won't damage your scissors so I've got my flower already I've got my glue gone I'm just gonna push that now so I'm just gonna open it up just for a second because what I want to do is push it all the way through to create a nice big hole of course i am going to the extreme yet again uh -huh. with a big size flower but when you've opened that up you'll see your hole and if i can just push that through to be able to bring that wire through and the stamens into the center i've still got area and time to be able to pop that right in and you like i said if you're using it as a rose not necessarily put your stamens in if you don't want. That's when your glue would come into its own. But now you can start to see that flower. And all I'm going to do is turn it on its side. This is when I'm going to bring in my hot glue. Okay. Now with my gorgeous glue sticks. Just say goodbye for the rest of the day to Rachel. That's Rachel off now for the rest of the day. We've now got Susie T's tagging in for the rest of the day. It's Friday, so we can annoy Susie T till, <laughs> till her heart's content. So, hi, Susie. Uh, right. There is some questions coming through, so we'll answer. Or we'll, yes, uh, you do that. I'm just, I was just pushing my new glue stick yeah, into no there, problem. Craig. Sorry, it's because um, well, no. I'm having a bit of trouble getting that out. So I just want to make sure I've got the connection right between the new glue stick to the whole no glue problem stick. No problem at all. Uh, but I'm just going to push a little bit um, out onto there. There we go. That's better. It's because I'm trying to do it with one hand, and um, obviously my flower is reacting to the heat, to the heat. from the um, from the glue. Uh, however, I'll just spread that out. I would then leave that to dry. Uh -huh. um, and what it, oh, it don't, to be fair, it don't take that long. It does doesn't, it? does it? No. Um, so I would leave that to dry because then what will happen is after I've let that dry, and, yeah. and you, you do need to let it dry before you snip that off. Can I preempt a question that might of come through? Of course, can. But look at that gorgeous flower. Isn't that gorgeous? And from this morning, if I just show you the one that I made this morning, yeah. I did it on the inside where the flowers came in upwards. But the two differences there is I spent a little bit more time shaping my petals because that's the thing. It's it's all about, you know, you know how much time you're going to spend mm -hmm. on it. It's more of a quite closed up rose as well, but there's nothing to stop you from going in and, and splaying that out a little bit. But you can see there's a difference there between, obviously, colour yeah. being the two. Uh, but... What was the question, Craig? So you're using hot glue? Yes. Now, this is, I'm just preempting this may be a question, because sometimes I know it pops through. Could I use my glue gel? Yes. Yes, you okay. can. Yeah, you just need to let that dry. Got It'll you. take a little bit longer. Um, with a wet, hot glue, mm -hmm. it dries very quickly. Um, and in terms of probably 10 minutes tops and you're ready to go, maybe less. To be honest, yeah, probably yeah, less. Yeah, less. Yeah, probably. Um, so yes, you can use your 3D Kalal glue. Um, and again, um, this is all about you know learning different things. You might want to glue the stages rather than doing what I've just done with the poke tool. Uh -huh. Our Debbie and Corinne, we know, stick each Got stage you. down, each petal down, and then 
put the savings yeah. in and then thread things through once they've got to that stage but i did it I'll, I'll share my love of my flower making because i do love making various different flowers as you can see in my box I've got colours, I've got different shapes, I've got distressed ones with distressed petals in there, I've got um, where I alternate between a cup and a, 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 a like a, a bauble, do you know I said bauble, some going up, some going down, I just, I, I just alternate and I experiment, so I experiment with my different flowers, I experiment with my different colours, I experiment with the shapes and adding ink, that's got ink onto that, so that's that white form, but that's ink that's been added onto the end to create a different look all together and I do love making uh, florals that one I used um, one of our um, alcohol pens oh in the middle sorry I had a bit of a brain fog there um, in terms of what it was but yes so absolutely have a little play I've got two more to add into my box um, but of course you could be then adding this into your projects I mean it really is a beautiful beautiful floral very easy to achieve these looks because yet again we've got the right products we've For got sure. the right form the best form we've got the dyes in there I've not even started on the foliage part because you've got the foliage there as well to be able to create in terms of card making and I did get the samples out because I forgot this morning apologies but this is the kind of thing that you can be creating with your flower forming foam flowers beautiful florals adding them to your projects that's two lovely gorgeous roses there using the foliage wow. with the lovely colors there in the center you've got all of those to be able to create all your fabulousness and it really is that's just the foliage part how gorgeous is that using that beautiful wreath tons and tons of ways you can use them of course if you was watching the wake up call this morning you'll know what i've got planned with mine because I'm thinking of doing a home decor piece. You are indeed. A big floral piece for the, for a, a, for my house is what I'm planning, which is why I've got four boxes at home full of flowers. Mm. And every time I make one, I just pop that in there for the next, for the next, you know, the next flower to add on there. Yeah. But be warned, it becomes addictive. Be, be warned. warned, it's addictive. But be warned, it's the best. You ask anybody who uses our form, you will understand why. Holds its shape. It does. It does not. It does not go back to that flat stage. No. Nope. And I love them, Craig. Adore Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Corn will tell you yourself, you know, in past Craft Day Life, that was something Corn done a lot was when it comes to uh, making flowers, when it comes to other materials such as, you know, along the lines of ours. And she said herself, out of all the different materials she's used when it comes to making flowers, it's heat activated. She'll say there that ours is absolutely the best out there. And that's why it enables her to make the most incredible cards and projects and home decor that she does. I cannot... Uh, reiterate enough like what Debbie did say about uh, corn all of us on the team love using them and create gorgeous things but what corn can create and make when it comes to the flowers is just absolutely exceptional really really is now when it comes to the learn learn the flower form and with the flower form and foam stamens and so much more now you're going to get that rose dye that Debbie was showing you which is from the say it with flower so you are going to get that I don't have that uh, finished sample here here, actually had a different one so you do get that one plus you're going to get the foliage dies here that you can see so this is what uh, was used that Debbie was showing you in the finished samples you've got your 400 stamens now remember predominantly what you're going to be doing is taking a select few folding them in half so in actual fact say you're one in 10 stamens then really you're only going to need five because you're going to fold them in half so they will last you quite a while you've then got your flower forming foam so you've got your 12 sheets 9 by 12 from the say it with flowers you've then also got your 12 sheets of your flower forming foam 9 by 12. <laughs> You can tell it's fr She's a tell little it's Friday. Devil. The guys in the gallery are taking the mick out of me of how quick I am saying flower form and form nine by twelve. Twelve sheets. Yeah, they're here all weekend. At least I get a reprieve tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I could get ready for Sunday. You are also going to be getting your seven sheets of your flower form and foam. <laughs> nine by twelve. You lot are a bunch of monkeys, so you are. And then what you're also going to be getting, and this is included, and this is enabling you to use it on your flower form and foam, that's 9 by 12. This one, you're going to be 
getting included. Just to say as well, why oh you expressions by Candy Westpal on YouTube is saying, can a person just buy the tools? Of course you can, if you want. Have a look across on the website, but the bundles that have been put together are exceptional. I said earlier on, that bundle, including the rose dye that Debbie was showing you, is exceptional value at that price, £35 or $45. However, you are going to be getting the ball tools as well. You're getting the three of them with your six ball tools. Just to say as well, just until recently, that largest one there, that was one of the biggest balls that you'll have found when it comes to ball tools in the craft industry. So just to keep that one in mind, so you can really go and make your big open petals plus you have got that foam there as well let's not forget you do have the stamens too all of that learn flower forming with flower forming fo can I, who wrote that who wrote that uh, the learn flower forming foam with flower forming foam stamens thank you who wrote that who wrote that the, that's all the F's. I know. Fa, 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 Learn flower for me for. Learn flower for me with flower for me form stamens and mm. much more. There you go. Mm. Me and Debbie will always say we're not always the best with our words. So you're going to do that to us on a Friday. Thank you. Getting it off now. Was that you, Jamie, that done it? There you go then. Get out of <laughs> the way. Right, Theo, talking about <laughs> punching out the way, 50% of our show stopper. Paper corner punches have gone. We've only looked at these one. I would say the equivalent of maybe an hour and ten minutes throughout Wake Up Call. That's all we've seen. Debbie touched upon them earlier on, like we did at the start, and that is it. We've got the two-hour launch coming up tonight here in the UK, 6 p.m. It's 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Not even into that launch, not even two hours worth that we've shown you earlier on in Wake Up Call. 50% has gone of that showstopper collection. So please head across to the website go back in between watching what Debbie's doing now if you're watching on YouTube on the TV bring up wake up call so you can go back and see what Debbie was doing with the punches so you can get them into your basket get them checked out they know that you're coming your way I'm meant to have them on second chance Sunday this Sunday coming don't know if I'm going to have them or not they are there on the website we're going to give you the opportunity to check out your baskets if you need to know more about Club Inspire well here's her she's about the building somewhere but here she is here to tell you all about Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a gnome and I live in a caravan. <laughs> I'm a gnome and I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah. clip that? Yeah. Oh, we'll do it. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. Uh, that wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. 
There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Yeah, just talking about maybe a little fresh beverage that we might have there, if you maybe just got my uh, microphone live there. Uh, lots of lovely comments coming through. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. We're just talking about being Friday and what we might do once we get home later on tonight, of course, just to chill and relax, you know. Some like a gin and a lemonade, some like a gin and tonic, like Leanne. Death stares at me when I say lemonade when it comes to I'm my glad gin. I, I'm glad I can say oh, it here. Tonic. Lemonade, it's got to be flavoured. Oh, Don't got say to that be. in front of her either because oh. it's like, no, 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 no. You do get the death stare. Oh, you do get the death you stare, get the death yeah. stare. Yeah. Only tonic is allowed in gin. Uh, and it has to world. be Schweppes. Yeah. Or what, what? Schweppes tonic. Schweppes. Yeah. Yeah. Schweppes. Schweppes. Yeah. Schweppes. For me, it has to be Schweppes lemonade. Yeah, mine's Schweppes, Schweppes lemonade, lemonade as well. Schweppes lemonade as well, yeah. Yeah, not your Tesco two stripes or anything uh, uh, like uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, uh. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, maybe you're having a beer, maybe a wine, maybe, it, maybe a rosy. Maybe it's just going to be an alcohol, uh, non-alcoholic drink, coffee. A cup, of, a cup of hot chocolate. Who knows? But yeah, that's going to be some of our plans for this evening. Uh, thank you for all your uh, lovely comments coming through. Uh, well, just just a couple of questions there. Uh, you expressions by Candy on YouTube is saying, "I have ton of craft foam. I'd like to use with these, and I really wonder if it would work with that foam as well." I'm going to craft, read craft foam. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, craft foam. <coughs> no, craft foam no. is craft foam is uh, it's a bit like funky foam, isn't it? it craft is. foam. Yeah. yeah. So um, you'll you'll be able to get some. You'll be able to cut your flowers out definitely, but you won't be able to activate it with the heat. This is a proprietary, um, and I say that word because I learnt it from Leanne. <laughs> um, but it's a proprietary foam to the company that uh, Le Leanne extensively researched. Mm -hmm. And I mean, she's a stickler for detail and it had to be the right form that once activated with the heat holds its shape, moulds very easily as well um, in terms of being able to do all those different styles of petals with the different styles of flowers. Craft foam, you'll be able to cut your flowers out with, but you probably won't get the same results. That's just a personal opinion. Unless, of course, it's a craft foam that, you you know, has got some kind of heat activation with it. But you'll find craft foam, the ones that I know of, or craft foam for a reason. It's just a, a steady foam that you can die cut into, or use for your kids and things like that, but it, it won't do the same job as our, our flower foaming foam. Definitely. And then what I would say is, well, with the flower foam and foam, please, you know, check out our YouTube and type it in. For instance, Crafty Angie as well is just saying, um, and I don't want to speak for Debbie, so I will throw it to Debbie. It's just saying, and the reason I'm saying what I'm saying is you can go back and watch ideas, and that is, Debbie, can you show us what you would use the grey foam for? And what I was meaning by that is obviously that's from the Delightful Daisy. So if you go back on YouTube, but I suppose you can just use it in a different, maybe instead of a green leaf or something, you can use it as the foliage or something. Yeah, of course with you the can, yeah, or you can create your, I mean, there's lots of different flowers and lots of different colours out there. Maybe add a bit of ink around it as well. Yeah. Um, just pop a little bit of your ink, one of your chosen inks that you could add around there as well, just to lift it. But I personally still use the grey. So do I. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like the grey. I like I it. I actually, to be fair, I nearly pulled, in fact, I did pull the grey foam 
out. I was going to do it, but then I thought camera-wise, mm -hmm. I wanted um, a more striking colour to pop, especially when I were coming to f uh, f um, mould the petals uh, and form that flower. So that's why I just switched it out. Yeah. But at home, I do use the grey. Snap. Absolutely. Yeah. Snap. Uh, there's just one more come through in there, and I will ask this one because I think it's good with what you're just saying there. Rosalind Russell on Facebook saying, Debbie, I, sub I have some large flower dyes. Does it matter what size to use with the foam? No. No. no, you can use any. Uh, all I would say is, look at the centre yes. of your die. Yeah. If you if you've got a, a nice area for your um, stamens, if you're going to put your stamens through, if you're gluing it, it doesn't matter because if you're just gluing it into place and then adding your stamens on the end, that's fine. Uh, but if you are wanting to add stamens on wire and push that through, take a look at that centre petal of your flower and make sure it's big enough. Once activated with heat to enable you to get your poker tool there yeah. without the without the petals dropping off therefore and that's a that's a really good good question actually because i've had flowers mm -hmm. in the past and i thought mm -hmm. oh no why ain't it worked and it's just because of that center part that hasn't been right use the glue you'll be fine yeah definitely thank you for that one debbie right let's have a look now this is our learn edgeables with ink pads 10 dies and much more. £35 or $45. God, they put a lot of thought into these titles today, didn't they? Platinum price, £28 or $36 for you guys having one of these moods. We, I know, we know who it is that's, that's done it. That's why I'm just like, kind of like egging it in there. There we go. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's, oh right. Is it OK? Oh, it's a little Jamie. It's a little Jamie. £35 or $45. This is a platinum price, £28 or $36 here. Now, we touched upon this within Wake Up Call. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to spend too long here so we can go straight across to Debbie. But what we've got here, this one, is a proud peacock. And even up until recently, Debbie, I, not only, I can't even say I forgot about it. I hadn't seen it before. I hadn't seen this one before, no. no. I think it was, yeah, I think it was um, something with a magazine, I believe, I think, if I remember that rightly. Maybe why then, um, yeah. A commissioned one anyway, but it's, be it's beautiful. It is it's beautiful. absolutely gorgeous, perfect for paper piecing, and looks striking down that edge. Yeah, 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 really, really is. You've got that proud peacock. You've got the delicate hearts here. Now, Debbie showed you a few different ways in which you could use these within Wake Up Call as well, because you've got that edge cut die as well as the decorative die as well so it could cut in or it could cut out. Absolute gorgeous, that one there. Then what you've got is you've got your large happy birthday to you. Now, that is a huge edgeable die. What you've got within this one there is the happy birthday to you also cuts out. So you can either use those individually. You've got the Xyron. We still have the small Xyron available on our website. Or paper piece, if you want to. Lovely, lovely one when it comes to that size. What we've also got is a full pack, 15 sheets of your watercolour cardstock. The reason we've put that one in is because we've also put our uh, crushed velvet it is crushed velvet what reactive ink and also our baby blue so you've got your baby blue water reactive and then what we've also done is we've also put in a rectangle blending tool with the foam as well that's included and then last but by no means least because we're not finished yet a full pack centura pearl mint green 310 gsm this is one that i've been using a lot a lot a lot a lot lately i've been using this that one with that one with the dark chocolate as well, I've been using quite a lot. So that is your... <laughs> I can't keep going. I can't keep going. They're all singing Whitney Houston in my ear. <laughs> You're getting all of that for £35 or $45. If you are platinum, that's going to come down to £28 or $36. This is another one all across on the website, of course, .co.uk.com or .eu. This is now, Debbie, the Learn Edgeables yes. with all of what I've showed you there. What can we do with well, these ones? Well, there's so much you can do, and I touched on it this morning, and I'll show you those little ones that I did this morning. They weren't finished demos. I'm going to do a finished demo, but I am going to use this. I was tempted. I was tempted with the very large one because I love that die um, but I've changed my mind because I haven't I don't get to work with this one often so I no. thought I'm going go, to do you this. go, go for uh, it. so I'm going to use the delicate hearts now I'm just going to 
quickly explain that particular die set that you are getting in that bundle you've got those gorgeous i call it the wibbly wobbly curves you've got that gorgeous like half moon one and then the straight edge ones these two dies i've got the outer die that cuts into it as well this is like a panel one but in conjunction with this one means you've got that edgeable factor but that lovely border so it's a border and an edgeable brought in together um, that really creates some really stunning pieces and i'll show you some finished samples i believe i've got some in a second right but i am going to use a piece of multi-purpose cardstock so i've taken and i used my a3 one with this i've gone to and if i remember rightly i think it's six yeah six by six so i've taken six by six and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a really i'm going to go with that half moon one so i'm going to come in with these two dies i'm only going to use the two this one i'm going to use for underneath so i am going to place it now this edgeable part means that the love hearts it's got from this end all the way on the top part of that die to the end that's the bit that cuts out so when you're using it as an edgeable bear that in mind because i want to cut away from that card and then the panel itself means that you can add that together to create a really lovely feature and again it just looks absolutely exquisite you need some tape to hold it down so i'll pop a little bit of low tap tape just onto there the reason i've gone with six by six is so that that panel fits in really nicely as well so these are beautiful dies now while i'm there you can actually come in and pop down on the inside panel the other die and i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it for oh actually no, you can't, Debbie, because I was going to do a risk it for a biscuit. Then I've realised it's on the bottom part. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Forget. Scrap. Go back to what we were doing. Uh, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to pop that. And I do love these because they create so many multiple borders. And this is just in that one die set alone. Um, you have got all those other options with that fabulous peacock, with that fabulous, really large edible, all that cardstock and ink. Uh, I mean, look at the price. Exactly. I Twenty-eight know. pounds is the lowest you're going to pay for three sets of dies, and I say three dies, two sets, and then this mm -hmm. one that's got eight dies in to create multiple different ways in terms of your edibles, and then the cardstock, exactly. and then the two ink pads. The mm -hmm. two ink pads alone, five ninety-nine exactly. each. Exactly. Yeah. That's twelve pounds, all but a couple of penny. What does that mean? Fourteen pounds. Sixteen pounds. For the rest? You can count, I can't. I'm trying, I'm trying. I kind of came a little bit unstuck then. Um, but yeah, when you look at it that way, and then look at this, you've got your little heart confetti. All the little yeah, you don't save that as well, honestly. You're going to absolutely love these. And then the edgeable part of it means, in terms of how you can create your edge, um, are so many different ways. And it, it just, it's a dream. They're an absolute dream, these beautiful to work with cuts into multiple card stocks i even dare say you could probably cut through two pieces of that as well with it being you know gemini you could get you through two through two yeah. three, well, two you could. pieces through that's you the could. word i was looking for and then you've got the um outside cutting edge which means i can now create a beautiful inside border as well so you can see now the ability that you've got with these dies gives you so much creativity so much. so much and i will just show you because i'm just going to bring that in so you can see that beautiful one there on that edge and then we're going to come in and i'm going to show you now what that looks like in terms of when you've used the outside die so it creates that lovely curved feature and it really is be honestly fabulous to be able to do this with that one set of dies that fabulous bundle that brilliant price on the screen and then all the ways that you're going to be able to use it incredible very <laughs> So, I'm going to come in now with my decorative pieces. Now, I've used, again, and I'll just quickly explain this because I've got two more demos that I'm going to squeeze in, but I've taken some of our wisteria paper. Uh, oh, actually, it's the site with flowers, Debbie, site with flowers. Um, and I've just used it to create the curvature part that then sits in to this part and look how And it means you can get your mats and layers absolutely bang on. And I mean, literally, bang on. Absolutely incredible. So again, let's come in. Let's stick that down. That's the inside panel. So again, it offsets there. Craig, have you got the crushed velvet over there? 
I... Could I just borrow it for a second? No, don't. Do oh, what are, sorry, what react, Deb? Uh, yeah. Well, yes, please. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> do you know what it is? I'm all ahead, Debbie, and I'm looking at the next bundle where we're waiting to look. Which ah, is you're getting pads. ahead. Of, thank there you. you thank you very much. Just because it's disappeared from um, our side. But I'm just going to take the ink and I'm just going to tickle around that edge. Just tickle around the edge, just to make that pop that little bit more. And again, you've got all these in your um, bundle. I can't get over it because when you take the price of the uh, every day of the week, five ninety nine, we sell those at. So absolutely fabulous. And then in terms of this, the inside panels, exactly the same. You've got the curve, you've got the die to be able to create the perfect mat and layer. All you need to remember is your framing that you're going to go in with. Cut that down to size and then pop your die into place and run it through your machine. So you can create your two panels right quite easily. And again, I'm going to. Normally, I don't use I use the side, but I'm using the muted side for a change. Yeah, it has. Yeah, producer Nicola, it's got a bit of a galaxy it does look have to that, it on the other it? side, hasn't it? Yes, absolutely. But again, I'm just going to come in and bring that, pop that down. And now you've created the perfect, and I mean perfect, uh, ones that fit around your borders. And of course, you've got the other dies in there to be able to work with as well. Uh, it just means so much creativity you can come in with. And then your beautiful card blank, like so. And then all I'm going to do now is I'm keeping it really quick, really stripped back. Um, I've taken a sentiment. I say I've taken a sentiment. Have you noticed where I've took it from? The especially for you is oh, from... Oh, not Garden the Gate. Yes, <laughs> yes, from the Garden Gate one with the lovely, beautiful flower on there as well. Absolutely, Craig. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to pop a little flower. Let me just... A flower? That's not a flower. That's a bow. Now then, Debbie, where are you going to put That's a beautiful your bow? Bow, bow. I, I love... A bo <laughs> my bow, bow. A bow. A bow. A bow. I've got a beautiful bow, haven't Beautiful I? bow. Thank you. I'll take that. I love making bows. That's another thing I love doing. You're very good with your fingers with your bows, though, aren't you? I'm a bit rubbish with my fingers, with my bows. I usually use our tools. Yeah. Um, Ultimate Pro being one. Yeah. Um, no. To create. No. Uh, oh, do you know what I've just done? What have you done? I've realised I put a little... Uh, <clears throat> there's a little foam pad under there. What a dipstick. What a dipstick. I had a foam pad I'm underneath, Craig. I mean, seriously, what is wrong with me sometimes? Um, I've realised... Do you know what I'm really thinking? What's that spongy bit underneath? Um, <laughs> let me put my little butterfly... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go there. So we're going to go there, and then I'm just going to finish that off with a couple of my little mini gems. Come on, come on. Where are you? I know you're in there. There we go. I'm going to pop on into the centre of my butterfly. Couple of the little jet. Oh, 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 fight, fight. Don't, you don't want to come off me. Wait a me. Oh, there we go. That's better. Couple of the gems just into my butterflies because I do love a little gem or two. When they come off my uh, little sheet, that is. And that, again, it's just those little finishing details. And again, a really lovely, simple, easy to achieve Debbie, that's card. beautiful. Honestly, you don't need a lot. Sometimes you just do not need a lot to be able to create these beautiful shaped cards. Then with your mats and layers, you've got the right tools again, Craig, at mm -hmm. the most incredible price. It really is, really, really is. Such an incredible price. I'm not going to go through all of the boards again because we want to jump across to Debbie again in a, in a few moments, give Debbie a little bit of time to get set up before we look at the next item. But that one was from your Learn Edgeables. You've got the ink pads, the dyes, and you've got so much more. You've got your watercolour card and your Mint Centura Pearl, £35, $45. If you are going to be platinum, it's going to come down to £28 or $36. They're on the website, of course, just like everything else. Is. Please remember as well, March is National Craft Month, not only just with us, but all around the world in the craft industry. And then that means we're doing little incentives throughout the month. What we're doing from the 1st of March up until the 5th of March, you've got 10% off some Spectrum Noir tools. You will see it on the head front of the website. If you head across, you can click onto it. But then what you can also do as well is have a look over the weekend. So not until tomorrow, but over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, 
handy. You're going to find a three for two on Spectrum Noir pens if you're wanting to stock up on a few. So that's going to kickstart tomorrow with Corin and Jan, and then that will continue into the Sunday with Corin and myself. The other little incentive as well that we are doing that if you purchase our gift card, you put whatever quantity on there that you wish, you can then get a fiver back. So buy a gift card, and then we will give you fiver back to spend on our website. So you will get a link via an email, you know, within a couple of days afterwards for you to use that. So it's all there. Please, 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 however, as you always do, continue to watch throughout this month because there's going to be different things coming your way in actual fact all of us in here got an email as to let us know what's going to be happening from next week so you're going to have uh, lots of surprises lots of things coming your way as well so we are now going to head into that next one where it's all about learning embossing where you're going to be getting your embossing folders three ink pads and your blending tool we have got within the set here some of our relatively new folders. Now, yesterday we'd done a craft along where I used the studded leather, which was from the original textured embossing folder collection that launched with myself and Debbie Fisher a couple of months ago, well, not even a couple of months ago, just a few weeks ago. That is giving you that one, which is the leopard print, which off the top of my head, that is now the only one that we have got left when it comes to the texture embossing folders. The leaf one sold out yesterday. We are also giving you your Woodland Splendor. So that is your double panel embossing folder there. You've then also got your beautiful Bloom. Remember, these are two, but they're two separate ones, but they complement each other. And then I know Debbie loves this one. You've got your in flight there, 3D embossing folder. So that one there is 3D, they're 3D, they're 3D, and then these ones are your 2D. But I say it's 2D, I mean, look at the texture that you've got, the depth within that embossing folder, which is your leopard print. But that's not it, though. You are going to be getting three of your pigment ink pads. So you're going to get your ocean blue, you are also going to get your straw bale, and then you're also going to get your pink tulip. So you're going to get those three, and then you're also going to be getting your square blending tool. So you're going to get your square blending tool slash rectangle blending tool, and you are going to get the two replacement heads as well. Have a look at additional tools on our website, because that is classed as a Spectrum Noir tool. So although you've got that within this bundle, have a look and see at the additional ones that you want to get your hand on, so you can get 10% off the selected ones that are there. All of that you're getting for £35.45. You've got a saving of over 20%, but if you are platinum, it's going to come down even more to 20 eight pound or 36 dollars while you're already there on the website you'll see it is fiverr friday to check out the selected items there that you're going to get for five pound five dollars or guess what five euros <laughs> depending where you are who would have thought go figure Go figure. <laughs> uh, right, Debbie, we're going to jump straight back to you yeah. and have a look at these ones. Yeah, I, I love embossing folders. I've for a long, long long time they transform a ordinary piece of cardstock into something magnificent and really pretty and if you did catch that amazing craft along yesterday you'll understand why we love them so much because they just literally elevate anything from a background to a foreground they can be a focal part of a card you can snip into them chop into them there's all sorts you can do with an embossing folder um I'm going to just use, two, I'm going to do two, very two very quickly uh, techniques and I'm going to use one of my favourite embossing folders uh, which incidentally is coming in the bundle uh, which is the in-flight one with that beautiful statement butterfly. Now I'm just going to ru run this through just and this is double sided, um, now then, fresh white I think it's called. I think so isn't it? Yeah, fresh yeah. white double sided pearlescent cardstock. Um, whenever you are embossing, now I will just talk about 3D embossing folder for those people that are unaware of what a 3D embossing folder is. So <coughs> it's made from a thicker plastic because there's extra sculpture in terms of the pattern that's in there. So in your folder, you will always feel one raised side and one that goes in. So like it goes into the, into the plastic. Now, because it is a 3D, it's made from thicker plastic, which means the sandwich in your machines need to change. And in terms of a Gemini, I'll talk about that in a second. However, I'm just gonna run that through first of all, so you can see that even though it's on white cardstock, it looks absolutely fabulous. And then I'm gonna do a very quick technique called letterpress technique, which is one of our favorites that we love to do here at Crafters TV um, and show you how you put that in. 
end. Now, the combination for a 3D folder is your clear plate, your folder with your chosen material on the inside, your magnetic shim, and your frosty shim. So this is how it would look. Clear cutting plate, folder with the paper inside, magnetic, or, and, and sorry, and then your, um, frosted shim and the reason that you need a hard surface on the top is there are metal rollers in there if I had done it that way around chances are that would get a little bit chewed up so you don't have it that way it's that combination it has to have a hard surface on the top if it's too much pressure you're just going to take that out and run those two through so okay. check your machine out and have a little look at what you'll get but what you get is the most beautiful embossed detail Look and even on Centura Pearl, it looks absolutely incredible. The texture and the level of embossing in this folder alone is absolutely sensational. So I've transformed that piece of cardstock instantly. Now, I'll just move that to one side because I'm going to do that little, little bit of a letterpress technique. And I've still got a stamp demo to get in. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we're going to get cracking. We're going to get cracking. We're yep. going to get cracking. I'm actually going to use the two ink pads that are coming in. Have you noticed there's been a bit of a theme with the prices? I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I noticed. It was only on this last one and I'm thinking... Sure, that twenty-eight pound were there last time. Aren't they changed that? Aren't they changed that L over? Because we've got a bit of a theme running through here for you as well. Because this is a back to basics kind of show. Now, opaque pigment ink is incredible ink. You'll often hear um, us talk about them being our favourites. They are perfect for blending with and this, you know, doing your, your blending techniques together. But these are. They stay wetter longer. They stay open, so they don't dry instantly, which means in terms of heat embossing, you can add clear embossing powder onto there once you've done this. Now, I'm just going to use it for a bit of blending on this occasion. We've got a ton of tuitions and tutorials online about why these are fabulous ink pads and why we consider them to be absolutely amazing. However, I'm going to take myself a little brayer. Now, I want um, the recess side because I want to be able to push the white cardstock up. So I'm not going to pop it onto this side. I'm going to pop it onto the recess side and I'm going to take my uh, brayer. Now, I've gone for a little brayer. We have a bigger brayer at uh, Crafters Companion. Yeah, with the big spectrum, no hard one, isn't we it? We do indeed, yep. Yeah. I have only got a little bit of ink on here, though, as well. And plus, I haven't got my other craft bag with me. So I'm just going to use me... This is one that I carry around in my craft bag. And I'm just spreading the ink around the folder, like so. And I'm just making sure it gives it an even coverage. And you can do it on both sides, Craig, but I just mm -hmm. want this to create a little bit of a, a technique. So I'm just going to take it in there and rub that right into every little part of the embossing folder using the brayer. And it's a good thing to see because you've maybe got the brayer in one of the goodie bags you yeah. know, for a couple of weeks or months and not knowing how to use it. Yeah, and that's just so you get an even coverage across the, the folder when you're using, especially things like our pigment, uh, opaque pigment inks. Now, I've cut this down to size, which is, um, and again, this is a five by seven, so I've gone in at four and three quarters by six and three quarters, and I'm going to do it this way around where I hold the cardstock down, place that in, and then bring the ink to the paper. That's the way I choose to do okay. it. So pop it onto the top. So nothing's moving, although she said that, and I think it's just moved, uh, because I was a bit clumsy. However, it doesn't matter, because I've got... I'll show you how, what the technique and how it works. So I'm going to pop now the magnetic shim and the plastic shim back in there. And what this does now, and this is on the d bus side, mm -hmm. if you do it on the ray side, you get a different look yeah. altogether. And it's worth doing it. It's worth having a try, both sides. Um, you're not damaging the folder, uh, but it looks really, really... Sense. Every time I do it, I get blown away by the technique, and I absolutely love the effect it creates. Almost gives it this distressed feature. Because this is still wet, I could add now um, clear or, or clear um, embossing awesome. powder and then heat set it. However, I did say I was just going to do a little bit of blending. So I've got my background piece. I've got the vintagey looking going off there. And then I'm just going to take one of my ink daubers and I'm going to just touch around the edge. So and then literally together. come in and pick up the rest. So this is the sculptured bit. So the yeah. 3D bit is now being picked up with the remainder and it's not going into the blue no. because it's the most raised part. And do you know it, something I've never done that before Deb? In all the years that I've done letterpress technique I've never thought about then going again over the top of the uh, uncoated or uncoloured uh, layer with ink on top of that. 
know, it's just because, you know, Gosh, and, and, yeah. and the reason I've chosen these colours, obviously these are the colours that are coming in wear. If you've got other colours in your collection, mix and match. I just, I've just wanted to show you the quick technique because this is about being back to basics. It's about learning these techniques and it really is a simple as that it is isn't it it couldn't be any easier i could come in now and i could take my dober and i could go over and i can still even though this is central repel side by side you'll get two different looks so again just because we've got a bit of time i'll come in because the stamping technique that i'm going to show you is very easy to achieve you okay. can go over and pick up and you'll get a different look altogether once you do that as well craig so again for me absolutely incredible. and don't forget there's another in fact is there three ink pads in this Three ink pads, yeah. Three ink pads, yeah, right, let's just put that then. into the equation. Five ninety nine each, so six twelve. You get straw 12, 18, bale as well. 18, 17, 97. Mm -hmm. 17, 97 worth of ink. That means then, whoo, look at the price on the screen, what you're getting for the rest, which is incredible. Now, when you take it into your card making, those two, that's exactly what I've done with these. So if I just go back over to the overhead again. So that one I've turned into this with the mat and layer. And just use me a little with love. I did oh, just a little bit of with love. And then even with the um, central repel, you get that lovely shine through there as well, mm -hmm. um, just with the same colours, but two different looks from two different, well, the same folder, same card, but just using two different um, multi-purpose cardstock, central repel. Don't forget, though, you are... Um, if you have got a lot in your stash, there's lots of things you can do with it. But look at the difference between the two. It's the same two colours. Yeah. How different does both of those look? Absolutely. That's the letterpress technique. That's just going over the top, brushing over and tickling over. So there you go. Two fabulous ways of being able to use it and all about the embossing. And anyone for asking about this, you can just wipe it down with your wipes, pop mm -hmm. it into some hot soapy water, clean that off. It's good to go. You haven't damaged anything, but it's a great technique. Try it. If you've never tried it, try it. There's a ton of things you can do with embossing. That's just two very simple ways yeah. that you can emboss with and then think of all the other materials from acetate to vellum that you can emboss into going into your dark card stock, you adding your gilding flakes adding your gilding waxes adding different things like your aqua pens creating the backgrounds coloring them in oh my god it goes on and on and on there's so many i remember jan when we used to be in the other studio 17 techniques using That's embossing right. folders in two hours 17 techniques there's a ton of techniques out there you get the right deals, we're giving you those deals, you get creative and enjoy all those techniques and enjoy the embossing folders and enjoy those inks because they're fabulous. 100% could not agree more with you Debbie on that one there. Everything, you know, and when Debbie broke that down with the three ink pads at 5 99 each uh, that are included, you're also then getting your folders that we showed you as well, £35 or $45. That's giving you a saving of 20%. Do you know what we'll do is just very quickly go through the folders here just to show you, because you've got your straw bale, you've got your ocean blue and then your pink tulip, which is your pigment ink pads. You've also got your square blending tool as well that we can see just here. So you're going to be getting that as well. So you're also then getting the folder. So that's the one that Debbie just done the technique with, that gorgeous in flight and it really is gorgeous with all the different layers it is 3d as well as the beautiful blooms which is your duo and boston folder so they are both different as you can see however they complement each other just perfectly you've also then got your woodland splendor within that one there as well so again two different designs but they complement each other just perfectly and then last but by no means at least the last remain and texture and boston folder from of course our texture and boston folder range the only one that is 2D. However, look at the depth of detail that you've got in that one there. I uh, highly recommend doing what Debbie Fisher says. You've seen me doing it as well. Although we say uh, two cutting plates, we do like to put in our magnetic, uh, our metal shim in as well. So two cutting plates and metal shim just with the uh, 2D embossing folder because it just how that really stands out when it comes to that leopard print. But all of that you're getting £35 or $45. That's where you've got that saving of 20%, which is exceptional if you take off the three times five ninety nine that the ink pads are. But then if you're platinum, that's even better. That comes down to £28 or $36 for all of that. You guys, Coral Central Europe, you're not left out. You just need to go to .eu. You're going to find everything that is there. You just need to then go into Shop the Daylight. Everyone 
everyone else will, you're going to find it all there. Everything from wake up call within masterclass and then launch day later on, which is a little bit later in the day for Crafters TV. Usually a launch day was in this time slot, but what we've done, so let's have a special Friday night, night time. It will be here in the UK late afternoon for some of you guys stateside where we're going to have a look at our uh, brand new corner board, corner punch, corner, <laughs> corner punch. Oh. <laughs> They've gone now. They've oh, gone now. Oh, bless you, Craig. Corner bless you. Punches. We're already 50% of the Showstopper collection is gone and we've not even got to official launch date as of yet. And it's going also smoothly as well. Uh, but what we are away to do just in a moment, we're going to go back to Debbie in a moment just to show you what you can be doing with the Learn Stamping with eight stamps, three inks, rocker blocks and your multi-purpose cardstock, which I happen to have just here. Now, when it comes to these ones here, let's show you. Oh, we've got Spooky Cat within this one here. We've got Spooky Cat. So we've got our Pussycat that you can see there. And then we've also got, I love the blush, brush lettering stamps. I love these ones. You've got Hello from Me to You. Use them perfectly together, of course. That's how they're designed. But you can use them individually. Then what you've got is Baby Blue. You've also got, this is quick dry. You've also got fuchsia. You've then also got jet black. So let me just go back to that fuchsia for a moment. And oh, then you've then got no. jet black. What are you like? You're then getting your full pack of white multi-purpose cardstock, A4 in size, 60 sheets, 300 GSM. How do I know that? Because it tells me right in front. I'm reading off the screen there. And then you've got your rocker blocks as well. So maybe you've gone for that other bundle that Debbie was showing you earlier on where you've got the two larger rocker blocks. Now, these are going to complement that full set there. Once again, there's that reoccurring theme here, £35, $45. If you're platinum, it's going to come down to £28 or $36 for your learn stamping with all of everything that I've shown you there where Debbie you can do so much either all together within this collection or even if you just use them all singly couldn't you I'm stripping this right back though this is going to be my final demonstration stripped back to the very basic showing you how to use the fabulous quick dry inks and why you need them in your life uh, because these are exactly what they say on the tin they instantly dry instantly so i've got the fabulous sentiment as well so i'm going to use the hello from me to you and why we're going to use them the only difference that i'm using this time is our stamping platform uh, you've seen me use the rocker block earlier but i'm just going to show you how i line mine up uh, because i want it to go into that center so I'm, I'm using my hero tool there is nothing for you to stop using the um rocker blocks you will get the same looks the same achieve up. looks every single time but placing that down and i'm going to use our fuchsia Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop that onto the stamp, like so, and I love her. I mean, everything about our ink pads, from the shape to the colours to the different things that they do. Like we said, this is perfect for all your crisp, defined yeah. layers. It's also perfect for these stamps. Of course it is. 100%. I, in the past, Craig, oh, I used to get my knickers in a right twist mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because um, I used to make a right mess. Yeah. I, got a, I, I literally I used to smudge. Smudge everywhere. Oh, it drove me mad. Absolutely drove me mad. And then... I discovered our quick dry ink pads, which for me were the biggest game changer of all. Because you simply pop that down, it stays wet while it's on the non porous surface, mm -hmm. so on the stamping platform, it stays wet. But the minute you contact your cardstock and lift off, brilliant, nothing. isn't it? Nothing. I now feel like I can stamp with confidence. Mm -hmm. And I do mean that genuinely because um, it is just so easy. Now, I will tell you, because I get asked this a lot, um, our quick dry, they are absolutely fabulous, but they will leave a stain in. Of course they will. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. It does not alter. I can use that confidently over and over again with different ink pads. It won't alter it because it's just staining. Mm -hmm. And I don't want people thinking, oh, no, it's ruined. It's not ruined at all in the slightest, Greg. So I'm going to come in now with... Now, that can be placed underneath, but it is this lovely brush lettering. So I am going to take that brush... Brush? Brush lettering. It's and I'm going today. 
<laughs> and I'm going to pop it into the centre. I always line it up across my stamp. It makes it a little bit easier when you pop things on. But again, nothing to stop you from putting it on the rocker block. You've got two choices. You've got the larger one, which will hold the yellow. You've got the thinner one that will take the smaller one on as well. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to ink it with the black. And this is now going to sit into the centre of that lovely hello or you could just use the hello on its own as well you can absolutely can and i'm just going to place that back in and we're going to stamp that from me to you through the center with that brush lettering which looks absolutely exquisite and again super easy to achieve that look and then of course well well We've, we're coming up to the launch, aren't we? We are. Let's we're do, it. To the launch. do it. Shall we Debbie, do it? Let's, do get, it Debbie. let's get the decorative element out there and let's come in. And even with our multi purpose cardstock, 300 GSM, you absolutely, with ease, can create that background so, so easily. The only difference that I've done here, Craig, is, is that I actually wanted it to have a little bit of a um, double effect. So I did it on there, even though I'm going to be covering the pattern up, I just thought it looked absolutely exquisite mm -hmm. onto the back. And I got, I'm just going to stick that down, Craig. It's going to be that easy to achieve this look. And... Um, you don't really need much else. You don't, to be fair. do you? You no, really, really don't. Absolutely, not, you know, nothing else is needed. Um, of course, we could decorate the softer images with the corner punch if we wish to do she so. Could, yeah. Uh, but I did say we are doing a back to basics show. We are keeping it nice and simple and showing you how to. And sometimes, because I am guilty of being the old singing, old dancing, jazz hands project. Mm -hmm. And I forget that sometimes clean and simple can look equally as lovely. Yeah. And you don't need anything else. And it's taken, especially look when you that, use those corner punches, it's taken it onto a different level. I've kept it very, very simple, very, very easy, but very easy to achieve using the fabulous products, the fabulous prices. And again, look at that three ink pads. You're talking that three ink pads again, taking that equation, look at that price. It is absolutely incredible. Rocker blocks, multi-purpose cardstock. The multi-purpose cardstock alone is 10 quid. It's 10 quid all but a penny. Absolutely amazing. What's, what's the, what's the, what's the face for Nicola's there? just told me. What's that? The Showstopper collection of the new punches, 60% has oh, gone of the showstopper. Oh, you show We've not stopper. even launched it officially yet. So, but then Wake Up Call, we maybe featured that, that actually, they were just, it was probably less than an hour we kind of featured them within Wake Up Call. So that, that little feature as we've been mentioned throughout this show here, and that is it, 60% of that showstopper collection has gone. Not even got into that official two hour launch later on today for a Friday evening, Friday afternoon for uh, some of you guys stateside or you know, it'll be into the next day for you guys uh, in, uh, down under. You're gonna get all of that in with the brand new launch day. It is of course giving you that showstopper where you're getting everything that you see, 55 pound or $75. It's giving you that saving of 30%. You're getting the seven brand brand new punches. This one here, okay, that's one punch, but you've got three different corners that you can punch into the corner of your card. You've got your six by six. This is your Say It With Flowers paper pad. You've got your full pack, a luxury carnival card stock, all the different colors, shadeless glitter. You've got some matte, you've got some mirror in there. And then you've also got your precious gold. This is your seven piece showstopper collection. Platinum price is even better at 44 pound or $60. I would like to reiterate, if you're looking at these on the website, the descriptions does say that they work for up to 250 GSM. We promise you these work with up to 300 GSM 310. That is why Debbie's been purposely using 300, 310 GSM within Wake Up Call and with what she's just done there. A little bit of a guidance because it works perfectly with our linen card stock, which is about 250, but it is absolutely fine for your 300 GSM card stock, so don't worry about that. We do have a full two hours coming your way, six o'clock here in the UK, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time, where I know that Debbie have got some of the most beautiful demos planned when it comes to punches. And let me tell you, there's going to be some of the demos you're going to look at and think, I never would have thought that that's been done with corner punches because of the way that Leanne and the team have uh, actually designed them and designed the actual punch mechanism means that you can adapt them as well. Debbie did do a little bit of adapting earlier on in Wake Up Call. We will see more later on. 
But we're now getting to the end of the show. We've literally got five minutes. Susie's going to be sweating, so we better do <laughs> demo of the show. I know. We really apologise, Susie. We didn't mean, but we wanted to get as much as we could in uh, in terms of stripping it back to those basics and learning how to use certain things. I am put my little flower in because my little flower didn't actually go onto anything. So I've kept my flower out of here. And we'll go on to number one, back to the learning how to use your aquas. Mm -hmm. So that is number one. Learning how to use your edibles is number two. Learning how to do some embossing is number three. Stunning. And learning how to stamp with our clean and simple card is number four. You'll decide. Wow. Wow. What about talking about just reining it in that little bit when it comes to beginning, but look at the four spectacular cards that Debbie just done there a moment ago. Uh, glad I am not, of course, uh, voting again. A couple of very quick questions. Now, I know, Debbie, this is something that you cover quite a lot, but we're yep. always getting new viewers, and it's always handy to say because some people get caught out. But Sue L on YouTube has said, Hi, great show. I'm learning loads from Debbie. Can I ask a question? I am using the embossing folder, the classic Hessian, with all all-purpose card and my midi I'm getting uh, creases in the card what am I doing wrong it's the size of your card yes. stock probably um, because if you and, and, and I've been guilty of this in the past where a five by seven I don't physically describe that I'm chopping it down slightly because a five by seven is fine but it's the actual size of the fold and in each folder there's a tiny little bit of a frame a bit like matting and layering yeah so I take it down to if I've got a five by seven folder I take it to four and three quarters by six and three quarters and sit it neatly into the folder and you won't get any wrinkle increasing or or, or you shouldn't do that honestly um, again any of those folders just take it down that little bit smaller it means you get a neater finish mm -hmm. and a neater embossing look i would always recommend um you i mean you're using the right cardstock mm -hmm. multi-purpose cardstock you absolutely can you might get a different effect with different cards central pearl or anything like that but just make sure you take it down that fraction and if you're using oh, did she mention which machine she was using craig the midi the midi yeah so the midi just make sure if it's a 3d folder it's going straight through the mouth no other shims if it's the two 2d folders then you just literally pop it with the purple mm -hmm. shim and make sure and if you want to try it where you flip reverse it and run it yeah. through you can absolutely you can as well so just try it that way and see if that makes a difference because we had and it's not a daft question we had a very similar question a, a couple of weeks back and she tried it and she'd realized she was cutting a cardstock too big yeah she just needed to trim it down to fit inside the folder if it's inside the folder it'll make such a difference and she tried it while we were live she in the did, show and she, she commented in the us. same show yeah. and said that worked an absolute treat it really really did um we've got as well saying uh where were it? oh uh, diane on youtube is saying i'm in quite late excited to re-watch the entire video uh craig i love your hosting you make a great team with debbie we do we do. That's so lovely. We just love again. working with each other. We really do. It's because we're such best friends off of screen as well as uh, on screen as well. We love it. So much love as well for the corner punches. And Crafty Queen on YouTube saying, uh, Oh, Craig, Friday Fever is biting this week. You're both doing so well considering you've got the naughty tongue twisters with the guys in the gallery. Thank you. I know as well. Laughing away. Uh, right, Theo, we've got a couple of pictures here before oh, we end lovely. the show with the result. Sandra Dundas, Ooh. she has taken inspiration from what, Michelle? I yes, I, I was just going to say that looked like a Michelle project. That's beautiful. Michelle's back next week from our holidays. She is Anybody indeed. wondering where she's been? She's had a couple of weeks off, uh, well earned weeks off, um, and she'll be back next week. Oh, oh, Craig, I see something else coming up. I see it, Ooh. Rhonda. Wow. Look at that. That's Look. beautiful. I wonder where she got the inspiration from. I wonder. I wonder. That was my craft along from yesterday. I love your take with your colours and your patterns that you've been using it. Thank you so much for sharing that. I absolutely love seeing that. Love seeing what you've done with uh, Michelle's ideas as well. Just say as well, as Debbie did say, I'm actually uh, on with Michelle on one of the days. I think it's maybe not choose no it's not next week it's the week after michelle's also in for a few days and i'm going to be on with her then because um something launching that myself and debbie are really really excited about and i know michelle's going to be featuring them within a launch party uh right to you so susie was saying one vote separates each card one two and three however by one vote wow demo of the show goes to number two 
The Edibles, there you go. Thank you very much. Um, I love how you're a tight, close call because mm -hmm. literally, uh, you know, we, we have taken these back to base. It's just showing you how to use these things, but sometimes it's just... It's nice to do it these kind nice. of shows because it's been lovely getting the questions and asking, like we said, never any, any deaf questions. Never. But thank you very much. Um, I am super excited <laughs> for six o'clock. Yeah. It's all I'm going to say. I can't wait. Absolutely. It's going to be good. It's, it's going to be, be so good. As I was saying before, you can get the paper punches, corner punches on their own. However, when it comes to the showstopper collection I've got on my side of me, 60% has gone already. We've not even gone into our official launch. Launch is the final show of the day. It's usually within this slot, but we've moved it to Friday evening UK time. It's going to be 6 o'clock, 1 p.m. Eastern time or 10 a.m. Pacific time with myself and Debbie. As I said a moment ago, Debbie's got the most beautiful cards and samples and demos to be shown you within the two hours if you are watching live then we will see you in a couple of hours time where we are going to have ourselves an incredible launch day we'll see you then